Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill and in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade the BIOS version of an HP T640. So this is how it looks. This kind, this kind of devices are called thin clients because they normally have Linux installed on them but newer versions might have Windows as well. So I have done a video in the past on which I reset the BIOS password for this model. So maybe you have to do that first, maybe you want to check that first. So if you're interested you can click on the top right of this screen for that video. Another thing that we're going to need is a USB. So it has to be at least two gigabytes, but can be any other size above that. A any information that you have in this USB is going to be deleted, okay? So keep that in mind. As you can see, this is my desktop, it's Windows 10, but can be Windows 7, 8, 11, doesn't make a difference, the process is the same. Now, let's go to check the USB, I just connected to the computer. So as you can see, this is the USB partition D. As you can see, it's empty, eight gigabytes, and it's called update you can call it anything that you may like as a reminder everything is going to be deleted from this usb now opening a web browser i'm going to use google and uh, we're going to type the name of the device and update so we press enter and the first two options might be the one that you need so i'm going to click on the first one and it has to look something like this in this case is hp as you can see on the top it says support.hp.com so that's the official website so you scroll down and you can see this is the model i showed you a few seconds ago you scroll down and you have two options uh, what do operating system do you have or and what version of os do you have so uh, you can choose windows or linux i'm going to choose windows for this one but linux is also an option as you can see over there 64 bits and changing to linux hp theme pro but again you can choose any one that you need so after that you click submit and it's going to take you to this webs to this other site in this site, which is still hp.com, you're going to see all the drivers that this uh, device needs. Okay, so if you ever have a problem with a driver, you can come here. So the one we need is BIOS, the top one. And as you can see, there is a version 1.11, revision 8, around 50 megabytes that came out in November 2021. So two months ago, actually. All right. So the only thing you have to do is download it. You click on the right and the process is going to start. So I already have it over here. So as you can see, and I have also created this folder HP. As you can see, it's empty. You can call it anything that you may like, and we are going to use it in a few more seconds. Next, you double click on this uh, on this executable, the, the one that we have downloaded from HP.com. So yes, I want to execute it, and you accept the license over here. Yes, and on this part, we are going to change the folder, all right? So we're going to change the folder to the HP that we just created over here, this one. So, okay, next. And after a few seconds, this folder is going to be full with files. It's going to open a website. Uh, don't worry about that. You just can close it. Now, the folder, as you can see, is uh, full with information. From here, we have to go to win this folder over here. We double click, and this is the, uh, the executable file that we need. So now we are going to double click on it. Yes. And this is going to take a few seconds, like 30 seconds or so. The video is sped up here. And it's going to open these windows, HP BIOS Update Recovery. So as you can see, the first option, Update, is grayed out because we are not going to update this computer, the one I'm working on right now. And the second option is the one that is selected, Create Recovery USB Flash Drives. Create this one to, to, do, to update another device. So you click Next, and this is the D partition, Verify Twice to check that you are not uh, you are not going to delete a partition that you don't want or a USB that you don't want. So we have to format it. So you click on that and we format it, even though it's already formatted and it doesn't have anything, we have to format it, okay? So we press next and this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. That really helps my channel a lot. So thank you, thank you very much. So after a few seconds, it's going to be completed and you see this message. The recovery flash drive has been created. Now you have to power off the device to be converted. Insert, insert the USB file and power on the device. So the device might shut down or restart a few times. All right. So this is the USB. I'm just showing you what it contains. It's not empty anymore. We don't have to do anything with these physical, well, with these files. We just have it there. I'm just showing you what it contains. All right. So I don't have anything else to do here. So I'm going to shut down the computer, as you can see me doing there. And now allow, allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. So this is the, the HP that I, I have shown you a few seconds ago. This is the one we are going to update. Now I'm going to connect everything, the, the mouse, the monitor, the keyboard and all that. And also, of course, the USB that we just created. So this is the keyboard and I'm going to be pressing escape uh, to access the BIOS. So allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera one more time. 
and now I turn it on and I'm pressing escape for a few seconds. So as you can see, HP logo, and this is the startup menu. This is something that you should see. So you select the second option, system information, and you can see all the characteristics for this device. If you see at the bottom, it says system BIOS, M43 version 1.08. So we have a 1.11, so it's an upgrade. There is a new version, all right? So from here, you have more information. If you scroll down, you can see the serial number, but we don't need it for this case. You press escape and now you go to computer setup or F10. So from here you have a lot of options, but you have to go to file and flash system BIOS. As you can see above, you have storage security, but we need file uh, flash system BIOS. You press enter and we have this option, update system BIOS from USB. So that's the one we need and we are going to press enter. It's going to take a few seconds and after you're going to see this screen, HP BIOS update. Do not shut down or remove the external power from your computer during this process, okay? So you just have to wait or apply update if you can do it super fast. Otherwise, it's going to come to this window. So uh, this process takes about 15 minutes uh, around that. So the videos are sped up here so you don't have to wait all the time. So just go and grab a cup of, a cup of coffee and come back when this is done. And right when you think it's completed, no, the second part starts. <laughs> but this uh, part is way, way faster than the other. So after a few seconds, you're going to see this. The system BIOS update is complete. Upon restarting, you might see your screen blank or the screen might flash for a few seconds. That didn't happen to me. The only thing that I'm going to say is this uh, restart takes uh, way longer than you expect, okay? So I was pressing the escape button for a few seconds and we're back to the startup menu. So here we go to system information as we did before. And as you can see in the bottom, it says system BIOS V0111. So the last one we have uh, was 1.08. So the upgrade has been successful. From here we can press escape and continue, st and continue to start up. So you might have Linux, you can, might have Windows, or maybe it doesn't have anything, but the update has been completed. So maybe you want to watch one of these videos now. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.